Hey guys, um, my name is Lexi and this is my first video that I'm doing for my channel. Um, I'm gonna talk about just what I'm gonna be posting on my channel and kind of why I'm here and what surgery I got. Um, so yeah, so let's begin with um, why I got the surgery and what kind of surgery it is. So I had an accident back in 2014 I hit a tree snowboarding, I shattered my ankle, and I had bunions. Um, I don't know if you guys know what that is, but it's kind of where the bones just kind of like cross each other and it causes a deformation in your foot. Um, so I decided that I would get both surgeries at the same time. So I got the, my ankle fixed and bunion surgery. Um, and since the six years, it's kind of, I've kind of had um, like four or five surgeries with 10 things fixed in my foot and it just never healed. Um, I had, the last two years has kind of been like the worst for me. It's been, I've been dealing with like chronic uh, pain and it was a lot of discomfort and I couldn't do anything. I couldn't run couldn't walk well, um, couldn't do any of the sports that I enjoyed. I laid in bed a lot of the time. Um, it sucked. Um, so then during some of my surgeries that I had fixed, they started fixing the same things that like start, they kept coming back like over and over again. And I was done. I was, it's been six years of like not being able to like walk right and to enjoy my life um, so I found an article from it's called the Ewing amputation or sometimes they call it Amy um, of this girl named Morgan she's number nine in the trial and I read her article and um, it kind of talked about the Ewing amputation and how it's this trial at MIT and it's a new amputation and it's the future of like uh, amputation so I asked one of my friends, um, Malcolm, to see if he knew what the Ewing amputation was because he, um, he knows like everyone, he knows a lot about it. So I asked him and uh, the Ewing amputation, he actually, Jim Ewing was his best friend. They climbed a lot together and he also know Hugh here, uh, the inventor at MIT who like invented the surgery. So that was awesome and I got connected with both of them and the doctor so by Monday this was like on a Saturday we were reading the article by Monday we got an appointment by for like two weeks out in Boston so I was able to come down to Boston where I'm at now um, and kind of see like if this surgery was right for me um, he did talk about a trans metatarsal which is a partial foot, like cutting off, you know, just the toes. But um, I told him that I didn't want that. I did a lot of research and I interviewed a lot of amputees. And for me, um, with having like, which some, okay, really quick, something I didn't bring up, I have CRPS, which probably came from one of the surgeries that I had. Um, just, it's caused by trauma or like, yeah, just trauma or surgery. So I got that sometime um, between like all my surgeries and my last surgery, I started to notice that my legs would turn purple and then my, like in the shower or when I would sit for long periods of time, my, my both legs would turn purple, like this weird blotchiness. Um, so I had that and that a lot of doctors don't like to amputate because um, it can spread. But Jim, or not Jim, um, what's his name? The doctor, Matt, um, were, had worked on two or three other people in the study that had CRPS and it actually cured it, like it went away. Um, so I, for the trans, so going back to the transmit tarsal, I didn't want to do that because a disease that I had in my foot um, and I wanted to cut you know I wanted to get away from that like I didn't want them to do more surgery and a lot of people that get transmetatarsals end up getting more surgery anyways so 
my whole thing for this was like I'm done with surgery like I just want to be done and not have to worry about more surgery and I just wanted to get back to my lifestyle um, a lot of doctors also just like to save as much of the limb as possible and don't really look at like what's the best like for you like the best for the patient in the long run and for me like I'm super active I'm 22 so I'm super young and I didn't really you know I don't it would be a lack of mobility I wouldn't be able to do um, the sports that I like to do as intensely um, so so there's that with a partial foot you also don't have very many choices for prosthetics um, and most people that end up getting transmetatarsals also end up getting a full amputation anyways and for me I didn't want to risk that I also had um, the bones in my foot I had seven fractures that wouldn't heal and we tried absolutely everything to make them heal and they wouldn't heal so to cut down like in a place where like my foot won't even heal just like I don't want I didn't feel comfortable doing that and the doctor also said that I would have that it was kind of a 50 50 where I might have to get more surgery or I might not um, so I kind of just chose the the full amputation just full send and I knew that I would be able to do everything afterward um, or even more better than I could or the same level that I could um, with a full amputation below the knee so the doctor we did these studies to see if I was like a candidate for this study um, I'm the 19th person so there's 18 other people and they basically just reconnect all the muscles and the tendons and in another video I can talk more about it but um, it basically so that all of the patients including myself um, in the Ewing you can control the prosthetic with your brain um, and yeah so you can cut you the, the way it kind of works is that like when you put the prosthetic on um, you have sensors on each of the muscles that they reconnect and when you move your foot or your toes um, which I can still feel right now and will always be able to feel I'll move that which controls the set which connects to the sensors which controls to the prosthetic which connects to my brain and I'll be able to have ankle movement I'll be able to flex and um, you know you know what I'm talking about like move my ankle move my toes um, and the prosthetic will allow me to do more than regular amputation um, so yeah, so that is basically how I got here. Right now I'm in Spalding Rehab Center uh, Hospital in Boston. This is my view, I'll show you. It's pretty awesome, pretty nice. Um, this is my poster, it's, kind, it's behind so you can't see it, but it's called Get Amped. It's from a party I had in Boulder before I was about to lose my leg. Uh, the party was called Get Amped. Um, so skipping to some questions or some questions I will answer now a lot of people ask me like how I'm so positive and how I'm so happy um, and my question or my answer to that is that I was I was suffering a lot in like chronic pain and just like not being able to do the things that I love to do in life and it just sucked so this amputation and this me losing my leg is giving me a new chance to be able to do all of those things which makes I don't know I mean I'm a positive person so but it just it makes me happy knowing that I'll get over all this I'll work hard I'll do my therapy I'll wait for the recovery to be over and next thing I know it I'll be walking and snowboarding and climbing and doing runway and I'm it's the future that I'm like looking forward to so that's what like really keeps me positive and the community here for disabilities um, it's a really good community there's a lot of awesome awesome people that oh sorry <laughs> I get these 
weird it only lasts for like 10 to 30 seconds but it's like I just had where in my phantom foot I get like sensations of like really extreme shocks and I am having another one um I don't really know how to stop that I mean I know some people like tap or whatever but I have this huge ass cast on so I can't really tap my leg but um lost my train of thought um but yeah so that's I mean that's how I stay positive plus I have a really good support group a lot of friends that are cheering for me a lot of family a lot of people on social media um so I definitely feel the love but this is my first video and I just kind of wanted to do an introduction of why I'm here, what I'm doing, and why I'm kind of making this channel. Um, I do have a lot of questions that I have that I will do in other videos coming up, but if you guys have any other questions, you can always um, chat me or leave a comment or whatever you do. So yeah, well thanks for listening. Bye.